Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, uh, Dr. William Somai Ruto, the Deputy Governor of Nairobi, CSS President, CS Masharia, CS Karone, the CAS is present, Honorable uh, Members of Parliament, the MCS, the Principal Secretary is present, uh, my own Principal Secretary, PS2, and Muraguri. Um, the Chair Board of Trustees, the Trustees, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. National Social Security Fund was established in 1965 through an Act of Parliament and was initially operated as a department of the Ministry of Labor in nine, until 1987, when NSSF Act was an, amended to transform the fund into a state corporation under the management of Board of Trustees. This fund was established as a mandatory social in case of permanent disability, basic assistance to the needy dependents in case of death, and monthly life pension upon retirement. This led to assenting of National Security Fund Act No. 45 of 2013 on 24th of December 2013 that established two funds, namely Pension Fund and Provident Fund to provide contributions for, to a payment of benefits out of these funds. Unfortunately, Your Excellency, this act was rendered unconstitutional by our courts in the judgment given yesterday on, on Monday 19th of September 2022. On this project, Your Excellency, Mukuru Housing Project, NSSF is the largest provident pension fund in the country, holding close to 300 billion in, number, in member funds, which represent 18% of the pension assets under the management for the oil industry. NSSF has a rich history of developing housing projects from high-end ones like the ones in Kitsuru, Mountain View, and middle income development projects in Asina South B and Nyayo Mbakasi and affordable housing in Nyayo High Rise. These are some of the largest and the most livable developments in the country. For the first time, Your Excellency, the fund is partnering with government to do developments in the scale necessary to address the nation's housing needs. This partnership is the first solid step towards achievement of your administration's commitment for the 250,000 housing units. The current contribution rates makes it difficult, Your Excellency, for the fund to invest in the right scale. It is therefore a national imperative for the new rates to be unlocked to allow the fund to play its rightful role, like similar funds in countries like Singapore. The RPA and NSSF Act allows members to take up to 40% of their savings for paying deposits towards home ownership plan. The current NSSF rates cannot afford a member even the legal fees. So for the fund to effectively execute this project, the government through the National Treasury will need to streamline the project execution framework for expeditious and low-risk low risk implementation. So, in conclusion, Your Excellency, we are happy to participate in one of the flagship projects that you have personally initiated. And we know this will contribute towards social security in terms of housing and retirement of our working people. So, with us, NSSF is happy. We have planned for this investment and we will journey with the government in partnership as we offtake any other project that may come. With those many remarks, Your Excellency, I thank you.